Look at the fourth and final flat race from Compagnie today is a two mile race for four year olds and upwards. El Marmol Bar at the top for Alex Cherry. I told you, David Hooley, lifelong Martin Lidham, native fighter Graham Clitterbuck, Palmdale Odds and Palmdale Tyke for Vinnie Gerard, Silk Kimono, Alex Cherry, Devilish Game, Darren Thompson, Poppets, Path, Dan Hughes, Scorpion Queen, Derek Hinton, Breezy Rainbow and Drums in the Deep, Leon Van Rensburg, Seminal Moment, Martin Lidham, Blake Lively and Olive Oil for Matt Cooper, See the Goose for Munas and Daenerys Stormborn for Graham Clitterbuck. All installed and ready to go. And away they go, closest to us. Seminal moment was quickly away, but wide on the track. The grey sea, the goose, was also quickly out. So it was Silk Kimono. It looks like it's going to be Silk Kimono who's going to hit the front then as they head towards the... Possibly the first turn. I don't know this track all that well, but it's Silk Kimono who's in the lead. It looks like this is a bit of a bend. Uh, Silk Kimono in front then by a bad three or four lengths. To Lifelong, who's just moved through into second, then Scorpion Queen and Olive Oil. They're being chased by a seminal moment. Now, my more bard, one or two familiar names on last season in this one of these long distance horses. And Silk Kimono is about three lengths clear of Olive Oil in the red jacket on the inside, the pink jacketed Scorpion Queen on the outside. Between those two, Lifelong in the purple and white stripes. Then comes Seminal Moment in similar colours. Blake Lively is next, then Daenerys Stormborn is after that, looking towards the back. See the Goose the Grey in the white jacket is just the back marker with Breezy Rainbow also towards the back. So they're passing the big crowd then. We've come out to this extra trials meeting, probably the final trials I would think. I don't think we'll get another one in. The season is due to start in November, I think it's been decided now. So you've still got time to get your stables home for a full flat and national hunt season over the 13 weeks or so that follow that there'll be a break for Christmas of course we'll talk about that later on but it's Silk Kimono is clearing the lead by about five lengths to Scorpion Queen and Lifelong then Olive Oil and El Marmol Bard after that one but the leader having it all his own way in the lead at this point only by about three lengths though now is Lifelong decides to make a little bit of a forward move as they get down towards the midway point in the race and Silk Kimono for Alex Cherry in the lead from Lifelong in second Palmdale Lodge has been pulled up at the back of the track so Obviously that one not on a going day today. Hopefully that one will be okay for the season if it's going to be in it. And it's Silk Kimono passing the seven pole in the lead from lifelong and seminal moments together. Second and third, then Poppet's Path. Olive Oil is after that one. Scorpion Queen is getting closer. So too is Drums in the Deep Breezy Rainbow trying to come around the outside. Giving up a lot of room but getting considerably closer. As to his I told you. But it's Silk Kimono who still leads but only by about two now. To Poppet's Path in the blue. Then on the wide outside, I'll told you in the purple jacket, the purple and white stripes of Seminole Moment and Lifelong are still there as well. The Leon Van Rensburg pair are close up. Then Palmdale tight. Olive Oil is just beating a little bit of a retreat, trying to make a run from the back. See the goose is trying to get going. Blake Lively is struggling. So too devilish game is running wide on the track. But they start the long sweeping turn into the home straight then now and Silk Kimono has led all the way so far and continues to do so from Poppet's Path in second. Daenerys Stormborn now coming through on the outside. Palmdale Tyke is there as well. They're queuing up behind this leader. Silk Kimono finally gives way and it's Palmdale Tyke who hits the front. Immediately pressed by Daenerys Stormborn. Then I told you Breezy Rainbow is there as well. There's still a furlong and a half to go and Palmdale Tyke has hit the front. Palmdale Tyke by two. Daenerys Stormborn in second. Then I told you Breezy Rainbow. Silk Kimono sticking on well on the inside but Palmdale Tyke's gone for home. They're coming down We'll see final half for his Palmdale Tyke, who's clear of the nearest storm one, who's not making any impression on the leader. And Palmdale Tyke is going to take it. The king of the sprinters takes the long distance race. Palmdale Tyke, the winner. The nearest storm one, Breezy Rainbow. I told you, drums in the deep finished well. All the way back to Scorpion Queen, who was virtually tailed off. Well, it's a win for Vinnie, Vinnie Gerard. Normally pops up in the sprints, but as he can train a stayer as well. And that's a decent form as well, because Daenerys Stormborn was a decent league horse a season or so ago, if memory serves. Palmdale Tyke, the one then for Vinnie Gerard. Daenerys Stormborn from Graham Clutterbuck, second. Breezy Rainbow, Leon Van Rensburg, third. I told you, David Hooley, fourth. And Drums in the Deep for Leon Van Rensburg was fifth. That's your four flat races in from Campania. We'll be going over to the jump side of things for the final four races next.